This video was made possible by my patrons, Joshua Bartlett, James Schubach, and Hector Defendi. Thank you so much to all of you. The following is a remake of a video I originally posted on August 28th. Hello everyone, this is My Two Cents, and today I would like to talk about personal responsibility. Now, uh, this, this is a thought I have, and it occurred to me because this morning I logged onto my computer and read a slew of articles about Taylor Swift's abysmal new music video entitled, Look What You Made Me Do. I took a look at the video. Uh, I'm just going to say up front, this is not a review of Taylor Swift's new song. I have never been a fan of Taylor Swift. And from what I've seen, she tends to be a full-blown social justice warrior libtard. But that aside... I just want to focus in on the title of that song, Look What You Made Me Do. Now, it occurred to me that unless someone is holding a gun to your head, you re or some other form of coercion, you really can't say somebody makes you do anything. And if you had to ask me what I think is the biggest problem in society today, it is the inability to take personal responsibility for your actions. Now think about the last time you heard a rant from a social justice warrior. I suspect it was probably pretty recently. They're all over the place now. But when you listen to the SJWs explain what they believe the problems are with society, nowhere in any of their dialogue will there be any hint that there is anything they can do that they bear any responsibility for fixing their own problems. The problems are always the result of white supremacy, of male oppression of women, of the religious right controlling America, which I don't understand how anyone could say that's the case anymore. But whatever, whatever their problem they're complaining about, it's always somebody else's fault. There is no hint in anything they say that their problems could even possibly be the result of their own bad decisions. Now, I do consider myself to be a libertarian, and people have often asked me, can you sum up what your views are in a nutshell? Yes, that is very easy for me to do. My views in a nutshell are this. Provided you are not harming anyone else, you should be allowed to do whatever you want. However, when the bad decisions you make don't pan out, it's not my or anyone else's responsibility to bail you out. In other words, my views can be summed up as, I believe, in personal responsibility. So allow me to explain how this plays out in just a f with regards to a few controversial issues. Uh, issue number one, smoking. Every child who has grown up in the public school system has had it shoved down their throats about how harmful smoking can be to your health. Uh, incidentally, I think that is probably true in most cases. However, what are my views on smoking? That would be, you have the right to buy your own cigarettes and smoke if you want to. You can invest your own money and make that decision if that is what you want to do. However, if it turns out that you end up developing lung cancer or emphysema or any other kind of medical condition, it's not my responsibility to pay your medical bills, nor is it the government's responsibility or anyone else's. If you make a choice and the, that choice you make has consequences, it is no one else's responsibility to deal with those consequences but you. Next issue, education. I believe you have the right to invest your own time and your own money in your education. That it is if you want to go to college and get a degree in women's studies, by all, and you want to spend your own money or take out a loan to do that, by all means, be my guest. It is up to you to pursue your own education with your own time and your own resources. However, if you choose to do that, it is no one else's responsibility to, one, pay for you to go to college or pay off your debts afterwards if you can't find a job because the degree you got is worthless. If you make a decision, and that decision has consequences, it is no one's responsibility to fix it but you. Next issue, sex. My position, you can have as much consensual sex with as many partners as you wish. However, if you contract an STD, it's your responsibility to pay for your own medical treatment. If you find that after having sex with lots and lots of partners, you now have trouble establishing meaningful relationships, or you want to get married and have a family, but people are unwilling, but partners are unwilling to do that because of your sexual history, well, you should have thought of that before you decided to be a whore. If you have a child out of wedlock, it is your responsibility to raise that child and no one else's responsibility to pay your bills. Decisions, again, have consequences. Now this is really where we come to discussions about what should the government do about society's problems. To be perfectly honest, I think in most cases, if the government just did nothing, society would have fewer problems because people would be forced to live with the consequences of their own bad decisions and it might give other people pause before they did stupid things. 
I ask everybody who's watching this to just think about the last time you saw someone on the street begging for money. I can think of one time when I was in college, a friend of mine were walking down the street and someone came up and asked if we could give him some money so that he could go get some food. Now, I did not give the individual any money. My friend took pity on this individual and gave him a $20 bill. We then watched that individual walk right into the liquor store. Now I suspect that that individual, whoever he was, based on my friend's action, based on the actions of others who had done the same thing, he had basically learned that if he stands on the street and begs for money, sooner or later people will give him money so that he can support his alcohol addiction. The giving him money is not helping him, it's enabling him to make more bad decisions. Now, I am not opposed to charity. I am not opposed to people using their own money to voluntarily help people. I think that's a good thing. But when charity is forced, when the government forcibly takes your money and then gives it to people so that they can fix their own bad decisions and thereby give them incentive to make more bad decisions in the future, what do we get? Well, we get the society we have now where the government is $16 trillion in debt and that debt is rising and we have more people than ever who will take no responsibility for their actions, who make continually bad decisions and thereby continually sink our society into the hole. So you want society to be better? People, you need to learn, one, you are responsible for the decisions you make. I support your right to do whatever you want, provided it's not hurting anybody else. But when your bad decisions you make don't pan out, don't come crying to me. That is my two cents. Take it for what it's worth. Thanks, everyone, for watching. If you liked this video, please hit like and subscribe. You can also hit the bell to ensure you're notified every time I upload a new video. This video was made possible by my patrons, Joshua Bartlett, James Schubach, and Hector Defendi. Thank you so much to all of you. If anyone else would like to donate and help ensure that I have the time and resources to keep putting out content, for just $1 a month on Patreon, you'll receive a shout-out at the end of every video and the link to one of your social media platforms in the description. You can also follow me on Twitter, Minds.com, Vidme, WordPress, and iTunes. Uploads are every Tuesday, Thursday, and Saturday, so stay tuned for more videos.